Hello, I'm Andy and I'm going to read to you a program called Weekly Horoscope from May the 12th up to the 18th of May 2019 and this is for you coming from Taurus. First, let me give you my email address which is andyhoro9, A-N-D-I, H-O-R-O 9, the number 9, at gmail.com. Send me an email, ask me the questions you want and I'll reply to you. Sunday the 12th, starts in a difficult fashion for you. There are planets who make you dominating and stubborn. There are planets who make you very blunt in your speech. So don't do any of that or you'll spoil your morning and afternoon of your Sunday. Let somebody else take charge. Let somebody else do the planning. Be the follower and you will do much better. Evening and nightfall turns magnificently wonderful. Whatever you want in the evening nightfall, you're going to get it right on a silver platter for yourself. So go out with a motive, go out with a purpose, be materialistically minded in the evening nightfall to go get what you want. Is it the romance? Go to where you can find it. Is it to make your marriage people happy? Go there. Is it to somehow bond with your working people or with the people you do business? Then go there and you will see that Everything you do, you are, your sense of brilliance is there to be shown. And even if you just go out for a bit of fun, you'll be still very happy. Monday the 13th is a very difficult morning, afternoon. Some planets make you rebe rebellious. Some planets want to bring unexpected bad news. And so it's a morning and afternoon which is moving very fast negatively for you. Watch out for your deadlines going wrong. Don't have any confrontation with the people you work with or do business with. You'll tend, to think, you'll tend to think in a very funny way, in a way that's off the tracks, which others don't understand. So you've got to follow rules and regulations in the morning afternoon to get by properly. Otherwise, you're going to have plenty of issues. Evening nightfall, also not very good. Now these planets of domination, planets of stubbornness come back to your evening nightfall period. And so they make you behave negatively that way. So again, don't be too expectant of anything. Don't push your weight around. Tell yourself you'll have to be very polite and move along with everybody at their pace and you will enjoy your evening nightfall much better. Tuesday the 14th, some negative planets are also there and they're moving very fast this time. So they make you impatient, they make you hasty and they make you argumentative. And so you'll be making mistakes, saying and doing things because these planets are negative to you. So what do you do? Well, slow down in speech and slow down in action. And tell yourself it's a working day, it's a business day. You cannot do things fast. Perhaps you're under stress because you've got a lot to do. But you've got to act slowly and directly at what exactly you want to do. Otherwise, you'll just add problems to the problems. And try not to do anything in a way of taking shortcuts either. Evening and nightfall also not good. Now there are rebellious planets there. And so they make you rebellious. They make you not want to f go along with the plans of anybody else. They make you disagreeable to everything. They basically make you a very difficult person. So if you don't really have to be out, go back to the safety of your own home. But if you have to be out, you have to tell yourself that I have to take the trouble to be agreeable and follow rules and regulations, or at least follow the plans already made. That way you will improve your chances of getting something good in return. Wednesday the 15th is a wonderful morning and afternoon. You're so ever so lucky. You'll get good news in job, you'll get good news in business. Make that phone call for the romance you want to activate and you'll get the good news as well. And whatever you say and whatever you do will be applauded or will be wonderfully received. So send us emails, make those phone calls, talk to your bosses if you're working, go and meet the business people. There's so much to gain in this morning afternoon period. Evening nightfall planets are very, very fast. They are not totally agreeable with your horoscope in Taurus. Why? Because they make you argumentative, they make you do things and say things at a speed which might end up with miscommunications, miscalculations. So you have to be careful evening nightfall, stay away from any uh, argument that might happen. These fast planets also warn you, drive very carefully because accidents are seen. Thursday the 16th, you've got 24 hours of good luck. 
morning and afternoon, you are inspired by something or another. So talk about your plans to the superiors at work and to the business people you do with. Again, if you are interested in a romance, chase for it. Morning, afternoon, have lunch with somebody, you are going to benefit from it. So wonderful morning and afternoon that brings you a lot of ability to do well. And I also see the planets of the internet there. So go to the internet, finding solutions, making contacts, and you will be doing extremely well in the morning, afternoon. Evening, nightfall also just as good. Now the time for reward. So evening, nightfall is where wherever you go, you can expect the reward. So make up, of your, make up your mind what you really want in the evening, nightfall of this Thursday, the 16th. You can't get everything under the sun. So make up your mind and go there. Is it the job to improve? Is it the business to improve? Is it the new romance? Is it the ongoing romance? Is it the marriage? Get something going. Focus on it and you'll be beautifully rewarded in the evening nightfall period. Friday the 17th planets are going very slow. And when they slow down for you in Taurus, you get frustrated, you get disappointed. Hour by hour, bad news comes or news doesn't come at all, so delays are also seen. So what do you do? You have to be patient. If you try to uh, do things too quickly, you will make plenty of mistakes. Also, problems from the past may come to worry you in this morning and afternoon of Friday the 17th. And even people you know from the past may also worry you. So stay away from people who you feel are going to bring bad news and be careful at job, business, anywhere, whoever you are having lunch with, things can go very quickly, very wrong. Delays can be seen, postpones, cancellations, all this will frustrate you. Evening and nightfall turns wonderful. Now comes the time to find solutions for everything, even for the morning, afternoon. And so evening, nightfall, you'll do wonderfully well. And you will plan travel or you'll talk of holidays. Or you'll meet people from another race. Or you might just want to go to the internet and you'll see plenty of good news and solution comes for you. So it's a wonderful evening nightfall period. And even if you're going out to meet people, you're going to be very happy with everything and be rewarded. Saturday the 18th is going to be a very difficult morning afternoon. Your temper, your aggressiveness, your provocation, or is it from somebody else? Either way, you're going to be just a very unhappy person. And so it's a working day. No, it's a Saturday. But if you're working on Saturday, it might even be worse because a flare-up at work would not be good for you. Well, even if you are with whoever in the morning, afternoon of Saturday the 18th, you have to be very cautious what you say, what you do. Take the soft approach. Use words which are soft, a tone of voice which is soft, a body language which is soft. This way it will tone down these planets and you'll be able to go through the morning, afternoon better. And watch out accidents or aggressiveness from somebody, stay away. Evening nightfall turns wonderful. Now in the evening nightfall of this Saturday the 18th, you'll be able to find solutions why things went get very wrong in the morning, afternoon. And whoever you are with evening nightfall, for whatever reason, for whatever purpose, you are going to be rewarded. So dress well and look good. And this way you'll be one very lucky person in the evening nightfall of this Saturday the 18th. Well, I have a 90 minute session and in this 90 minutes, based on your date of birth, time of birth and looking at your palms, I will talk to you about your next seven, eight or nine years. And I'll give you in all areas of your life exactly what's going to happen in your next seven, eight or nine years. I'll give you your personal lucky lottery numbers based on your date of birth, time of birth and looking at your palms. And I'll give you a lot of information, your lucky colors, your lucky gemstones, your lucky days, your lucky directions, so that you can be on top of everything in this seven, eight or nine years. So send me that email at andyhoro9, A-N-D-I-H-O-R-O-9, the number 9, at gmail.com, and I'll reply to you. Until then, thank you and good luck.